Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain what is a deflection in beam and what are the different formulas of deflections. So deflection is a degree to which a structural element is displaced under a load. It can be an angle or it can be a distance. For example, we have a simply supported beam point load is acting in the middle it will try to deflect deflect is actually a kind of bending so it will try to deflect our beam in this condition so the maximum deflection would be in the middle because the point load is acting in the middle of the beam so similarly we have another beam simply supported beam but with the udl load so this one will also be something like that so similar to point load so and the third one loading condition in the beam the deflection shape this is i'm trying to draw a deflection shape what is the formula for this one for simply supported beam we have so delta express the deflection so delta max you can write or the delta is the same thing no problem so the p l cube divided by 3 e i so P is a load, L is a length of the beam, 3 is a factor, E is Young modulus and I is a moment of inertia. Rectangle beam, moment of inertia would be BH cube over 12. So in this case, for example, this is our H, this is our B. Okay, let's move on to the next beam, which is simply supported beam with UDL on its entire length. So the deflection formula would be 5 WL4 divided by 384 EI. So E is a Young modulus and I is a moment of inertia. W is a weight, L is a length and 5 and 3, 5 and 384 are factors like just a formula. So the third one loading condition, third loading condition which is point load acting at the far end of cantilever beam. This would be PL 4 divided by 3 e i so it will be 3 e i ok the other types of beam are cantilever beam with the udl on its entire length and a cantilever beam with the point load at some distance of the beam so it's not in the middle so it's at some distance a distance of x ok so our deflection formula for this beam would be WL4 over 8EI okay and the deflection formula for our last beam this is a little bit complicated I would say so the lengthy formula so P is a point load X square is X is any distance so it could be anything then multiply by 3L minus that X distance divided by 6 E I. So these are deflection formulas for different types of beam. So in my further videos, I will try to explain these individual formula one by one for each beam, for each loading case or for each deflection case for example. That's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel.